more zone. Zach Bookman shot, blocked, but Cipollone recovers, throws it on net, kick save, Mallon, puck loose in the crease, but a quick whistle from the referee for his first, moves it out to center ice, took a hit to do it. Ahead for Mares, who brings it into the left circle, in front for Belcho, one-timer, he scores! 1-0 Brooks, it's Dario Belgio scoring his fourth of the season on a beautiful corner pass from Brendan Mares. And the Bandits jump out to an early 1-0 lead. Three minutes and 42 seconds into the game. The Bookman. Bandits keep the attack going. Bookman moves into the right circle. Going straight to the net. Stick handling. Never got a clean shot off, though. Face off in the Eagles zone. Canmore wins it, but Brendan Mares takes the puck away. He puts it in front for Heath Armstrong, who can't stuff it in. Back to the right point. Bookman, the drive, misses wide right. Campione in his own end. Gave it up to Myrel who has it now for Canmore. He puts it in front, and they score! Caden Smith takes a Myrel pass from the corner, and one times it passed Ethan Barwick, trying to retake the lead. Knocks it behind the eagle net, and Phillips over to Belgio, just had the puck bounce over his stick. Bookman on the right side, leads for TJ Hughes, right circle, Phillips scores! Eight and a half seconds left in the period. A power play goal for Brooks. It's Devin Phillips with his sixth of the year. Phillips to Belgio again. Fans on it. Goes over to TJ Hughes. He's denied by a right kick save by Mallon. Eagles fail to get a shot on Barwick's net. Wallace the other way. Drives to the Canmore net and scores. 3-1, Brooks, Hunter, Wallace, the rookie, fires in a shot from the left circle. Looks like it went five-hole on Mallon. Play it for Campione. Turnover, though, chance for Scott in front. Sails it over the head of Barwick. TJ Hughes the other way. Got around Dylan Biddick. Hauled down. Will this be a penalty shot? Yes, it will. Here he comes, TJ Hughes with speed, shoots, Mallon makes the save. TJ Hughes wins it back to the left point for Brendan Kinnett. Left circle, McAllister rings it off the left post. Nearly got his 12th of the year. McAllister, net front, TJ Hughes shoots on net. Oh, what a stop by Mallon. He denies Devin Phillips who got the rebound on the TJ Hughes shot. That was Clears up the left wing for Phillips. Two on one. Phillips to McAllister. He scores. 4-1. Brooks with four and a half minutes to play in the second period. McAllister has it for Brooks. Bandit's not done here as Bookman fires and scores. Power play goal for the... The Bandits, it's Zach Bookman with his second of the season. Nice wrist shot from the blue line on the screen on Mallon. I don't think saw it. And with 2.45 to go in the second, it's a 5-1 Brooks lead. Aiden Fink over to the right side for Wallace. Back to Campione. The drive, he scores! 6-1 Brooks. It's Dominic Campione. Blasting the puck from the high slot for his second of the season. And the Bandits are up by five with 7.32 on the clock. Back to Kinnett. Wrist shot. Pad save. Rebound. Campione scores. Second of the game for Dominic Campione. Rebound comes to him in the left circle and he just fires it in. Top left corner. That was a bullet from Campione. 7-1 Brooks. We're very happy for them. Ethan Lund, the drive on net, tipped in, and they score. 8-1 Brooks with 55 seconds to go. It's the captain, Ethan Lund, firing in a left point shot. I think it was tipped by Jack Seymour. Not looking to force the issue here. It's a two-on-one, though, for Brooks the other way. Mare shoots. He scores! Five seconds left, and it's Brendan Mayer scoring his first of the season. Top right corner. That has to feel good for him. 